Hallo Leute, ich bin Katja und ihr seht Deutsch für euch. For our first real episode ever, we will tackle something that will probably take you quite a while to get done perfectly, hence the starting early. Alphabet and pronunciation. Let's get started. First off, the vowels. A, ah, as in under. Try to look like Keanu Reeves. E, uh. as in eggplant. Try to look like a lifted person smiling. E, e as in feet or teeth. Try to look like yourself smiling. E. O, not like the English O that does that nice twist upwards at the end. O, your lips stay. O. Try to look like a surprised teenage girl. Oh. Ooh. Like goo. Only pronounced less swingy, like the O. Not ooh. Ooh. Try to look like the green aliens from Toy Story. Ooh. Next up, umlaute. E. That's the A with the two dots. Actually, this sounds a lot closer to the American A than our A. Like the A in hand. Try to look like you're being a very girly douchebag. Uh, then try doing it without sticking your tongue out. U. Uh, that's the O with the two dots. U. Uh, like the O in word. Try reducing down the word, word, little by little. Word, 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 See what I mean? That's the sound you're going for. U. Uh, U. Uh. A U with the two dots. As in the famed word, Uber. Yes, it's Uber, not Uber. So if you know French, you already know the sound. It is the French U, like in super or stupide. If you don't know French, you're out of luck. You're just gonna have to imitate it. Mm. Then apart from these, we have some sounds that are made up of two letters, but are used in the same way as vowels. Ow. Ah, ooh. Sounds just like the English sound you make when you hurt yourself. Ow. Just without, again, the little twang. Ow. Just ow. Ow. I. E. E. Like I, Captain. That's exactly the sound. I. It also means egg, by the way. I. A. E. Sounds exactly the same as E. E. It's just used less often. Oi. E. U. Sounds like o y, as in joy, oi, oi, e u. Sounds just the same as e u. It's just used differently. E, e a. It's a long version of e. Now for the actual alphabet. I will pronounce them the way they are actually used in words, not like a b c, but like a b s. If you want to hear like the traditional way of a b c d e f g. You should probably um, Google the German version of uh, Sesame Street's um, ABC Disco, is that it? I'm going to put the uh, German title of it in the description. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, K. Just like in English, the Q is normally combined with a U to make a Q sound. R, Z, T, U, V, V, X, U, Z. Now two special mentionings. First of the V, V. Sometimes it sounds like a W, V. Sometimes it sounds like an F, F. We could basically get rid of the V. I don't know why we don't. As for the Y, it sometimes sounds like a, it normally sounds like a Y, so like a German J, and sometimes it sounds like an U. Mm. That being said, it's not used anywhere near as often as in English, so don't worry about it. Ha! Huh. And we're done. No, we're not. Sorry, there's more additions. Sh. S C H. Just like S H in English. Sh. Sh. C H. Sounds like a weak attempt at imitating a cat's hiss. <laughs> the sound everybody's afraid of. Achtung! Now, your associations to this may be different, 
Personally, it makes me think of Ernie laughing. <laughs> it might hurt your throat initially if you practice too much at once, so don't overdo it. C-H-S. Sounds exactly like X. X. Please don't ask me why we even have this combination of letters. Now, a special note on the pronunciation of our R. It's very dry and it's not anywhere near the rolling R of English or any other kind of rolling R, really. It's just a dry R, the back of your throat. R. Now, lastly, we have this little weird looking fellow here. S. It sounds exactly like a double S. S. So sharp S sound. There is a reason why this exists. I'm not going to get into that now, but there's going to be a special episode on the usage of the S in the German language. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. For now, all you have to remember is that it always sounds like a double S. So, S. Then there's SH. Sounds exactly like the SCH with a T added behind it. SH. SHP. Again, sounds like SCH with a P behind it. SHP. Both of these, so both ST and SP, don't always have to sound like SH or Sometimes they also are pronounced st or sp, but at the beginning of words you can count on them sounding like sp and st. As for other cases, you will learn with learning words. And then we have pf, pf. I wasn't sure whether or not to include it. In the end, I opted for it because you do not have the set of combination in English, but it just sounds like an F that is being shot out of your mouth, basically. We also still have the PH combination in some words, mostly foreign words, and like in English, it is pronounced F. And then we also have TH. Never, ever, ever, ever make the mistake of pronouncing a TH in German, because we simply do not have that sound. That is why we all struggle with it. So when you encounter a TH, it's just T. Sounds the same as a T. The reason we have this is that it's mostly adopted words and we just took it the way it was spelled in the other language. And that is all for today. <sighs> I know pronunciation is a lot to take in at once, but if you stick with it, just keep going at it, you'll get the hang of it eventually. Your random word of the week is Brille. Bis nächste Woche. Tschüss.